Hey guys, so today we're going to do a guided meditation with um, Reiki infused into it to help you in cutting cords with people, places, and things that do not serve you. So I invite you to sit back and relax and just give yourself a minute to think of who comes to mind, what comes to mind that you are energetically corded to, where they might be draining you, or you might even be like draining them. Um, so go ahead and connect with that, connect with your body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. In. Exhale. In. Exhale. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start channeling the Reiki. Okay. So channel the Reiki. I invite you to envision yourself sitting in front of a violet flame fire, like a bonfire, violet flame. These flames are huge and tall. They're hungry to take away all that energy that's not yours. And I invite you to sit in front of this violet flame bonfire and to invoke your higher team of the highest love and highest light, your ancestors of the highest love and highest light your higher self, God and goddess, and Mother Earth and Father Sky to come forth and hold space for you, to assist you in cutting, clearing, and removing any and all energy cords, hooks, ties, attachments, thought forms that are not serving your highest good. Envision tree roots coming out of your feet to ground you as this cord cutting occurs. She would sink deep into Mother Earth's rich, earthy, hardy, loving, protective, nourishing soil. As you connect to Mother Earth, she begins to come in through your feet, rooting out the energy cords, energy hooks and ties with people, places and things that don't serve you. Allow her to go up through your feet, through your entire body, and out through your head. Allow her to connect with Father Sky. Allow Father Sky to come in through your crown, going through your body, airing out, cutting out, clearing out, blowing out all those energy cords, hooks, ties, attachments to people, places, and things that don't serve you anymore. Father Sky goes out through your feet to Mother Earth, connecting with Mother Earth. You are now held in the safety and love of Mother Earth and Father Sky. I'm going to channel Reiki into the body to help the body disconnect. I invite you to say your name out loud or in your mind and say, I need you. Come back. Thank you. Do that three times. Say your name. I need you. Your energy is most useful here with me. Disconnect from that which no longer serves you. I need you. Your energy is most useful with me. Disconnect from that which no longer serves you. I need you. Your energy is most useful here with me. Disconnect from that which no longer serves you. As your energy is coming back, envision a divine sparkly ball of light above your head. 
and it gets brighter and brighter and more shinier and more sparkly and radiant as all those pieces of you uncord from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. As you untangle from people and energy vampires and stressful situations and emotional people and situations where your energy might have leaked, your energy comes back and begins sticking to this beautiful ball and it spins like a sparkly disco ball just playing all the radiance that is you for you to see. As you're calling your energy back and envisioning it coming back, I am here utilizing Reiki to cut and clear the cords that are available to be cut and cleared out at this time. We are cutting cords with draining family members. We are envisioning shields preventing the cords from reattaching. We are cutting cords with pain, painful doctor's visits, painful school experiences, painful memories, painful heartbreaks cutting cords from that and calling our energy back from those moments, cutting cords with exes, toxic employers, toxic um, coworkers, any friendship breakups, anybody that you're obsessively thinking over, there's probably an energy cord attached to them. So go ahead and allow that cord to be connect or disconnected at this time. I invoke the earth and sky dragons to come through and to purify the pathways and the biofields of these people that are going through this cord cutting meditation here with me. Any heartbreaks that have been really hard to get over, envision yourself pulling weeds from the area around the heart, the front and the back side of the heart. And as you pull those weeds, throw them into that divine violet flame bonfire. And take deep breaths as you do so, discharging the residual energies of those that you are uncording from to Mother Earth to be transmuted into light to serve her highest good. Weed out the energy vampires from your heart. Weed out the hate that you might have around your heart projected at you or that you're projecting at another. Weed out the emotions that have created openings for these energy cords to form. Energy cords form because there's an emotional charge. That is usually how the cords are able to get in. The less emotional charge you have around something, the easier it is to keep your energy clean. Good. Read out any cords around your neck, your throat, people that have oppressed you from speaking, maybe people that you've oppressed, emotionally, verbally charged situations with people that come to mind. Just picture yourself taking out those energy cords, throwing it in that violet flame pit. The dragons are there helping purify. The earth and Father Sky are grounding and recharging you as your energy adjusts to this cord work that is going on. Creating your inner vision of energy that is not yours, energy from people, 
that are connected to you is now being cleared out of your inner vision so you can see and feel what it is to be you more fully here in your body now. Clearing the energy around your mind so you can see and think more clearly and more easily reclaim your energy and your power. You're more easily able to have clarity around when someone's draining your energy and not serving your highest good. Removing all that. You can snap with me and break up some of that density. I'm going to use the tuning fork to kind of break up some of this as well. Sending the sound to all parts of you that have cords or hooks in you. Sound is dissolving the noise of other people that have connected to you that do not need to be connected to you. Your body is auto-correcting, removing those hooks and cords, and filling the spaces with the, the healthy energy of the sound of the 174 Hertz tuning fork. Breathing heavy and discharging as you release that which is not yours. Releasing those stories, those narratives, those charges that allow these cords and hooks to attach. As you discharge with breath, the air drag the sky dragons and earth dragons are there purifying that which you are releasing. So there's not pollution or animosity going anywhere very clean cord cutting work that we are doing right now. There are the energies of selenite, clear quartz, and blue kyanite that are present now, helping ground us as this clearing occurs. And let us bring in the energy of the 528 fork. Sealing all places where the cords were, where the hooks were, with love. Neutralizing any charge you around, have around people, places, and things. So that way you may integrate these changes of being in your energy and not in other people's energy. Bringing this healthy sound to help you recalibrate with these new energy changes going on in your body. I'm going to use some self-love oil to put oil, but to put self-love energies into those parts of you that are now integrating these changes of cord work. Filling your aura with energy to protect you as you recalibrate. As I send this energy, let us shield ourselves so we can integrate this cord cutting work that we have done today. Envision yourself in a ball of divine white light, so bright and so pure that only the highest love and highest light aligned with your highest and best may come through. Only energies from God and goddess of the highest love and highest light may come through. This ball of divine light is so bright and so pure it burns off any and all residual energies from this cord cutting work so that those that were connected to you may not reestablish a connection and so that you do not reestablish connections with those that do not serve your highest good. This ball of white light serves as a cocoon for you to stabilize in your newly reclaimed energy. As you are in this ball of white light, the sparkly disco ball of radiant light that is you goes into a cone above your crown chakra and liquid light and sparkles of your energy is poured into your crown chakra and it spreads through your whole body. Breathe in deep, breathing in all of your newly returned, charged, cleansed energy. Exhale, 
directing your energy to the parts in your body that need it most at this time. Inhale all of your energy. Exhale, guiding it to where it is most needed. As you do the inhales and exhales, we'll continue shielding. This ball of divine white light is powered by divine mother earth energy, divine father sky energy, divine creator and creatrix of all that is energy. It is set to be around you, shielding you for the next 24 hours so that you have time to recalibrate and integrate these changes. Coating this ball of divine white light is a two inch thick perimeter of selenite. The selenite and white light ball self adjust and work together to keep you cleansed, shielded, and protected as you integrate this cord work and this energy work. Well, the vision of the selenite coating the white light and yourself held in the ball of white light and selenite. The last of your energy is trickling in that you have reclaimed. Now gently come back into your body. Give yourself a hug. Good job bringing back that energy. Good job letting go. You're awesome. You did great. And go ahead and just like feel yourself in this new energy. Feel what it's like to be in your energy. You might have a little bit of emotional release as your body reboots to all that invasive energy being cleared. And as it reboots to all of your pure energy coming back, that is okay. That is normal. You might be tired for a day or two. You might feel very energized, um, can go many ways, depends um, how your body receives. And you can watch this meditation anytime you need to. Um, if you feel like you might've picked up a little extra ish um, somewhere in your like wanderings. Sometimes I have to do cord work on myself um, where I get too emotionally charged around things at work. Um, and it's just a good idea to get in the practice of checking your energy and knowing what it feels like to be in your body and knowing what it feels like to not have other people all over you. And it also is good to know when you're according to someone else, because I mean, it goes both ways. We sometimes become the energy vampires um, because we're so depleted, right? Um, or we're like trying to control an outcome and help somebody. So like we attach to this person trying to help them when really we're not actually helping them. We're like depleting them because um, our energy takes from them and we're depleting ourselves because our energy isn't with us. It's with someone else. So anyways, I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments how it felt to you. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and practice this form of self-care with yourself. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned and up to date for all conversations about energy work, guided meditations, EFT, Reiki transmissions. And I will see you next time. Thank you. Aho.